I just third wheeled on a date with a guy and his mom, and he flipped out when I told him I wasn't going to stay the night. Last night I, 26 female, went on a first date with a new guy, 28 male, I'm talking to. I have known him for a couple of months, but we haven't started talking until recently. Last week he asked me if I wanted to go to a hockey game with him and his mom, and it actually sounded fun to me. I have never been to a hockey game, and I didn't really mind that his mom was going because he had those plans for her first and anyways and invited me to tag along. His house is a two-hour drive from mine and he lives close to the hockey arena. The plan was for me to stay at his place afterwards so I wouldn't have to make a late two-hour drive back home. I assumed that when he invited me to a hockey game with him and his mom that we would be sitting together, but I assumed that wrong. After I arrived, he said that his friend and his friend's girlfriend were coming too. He said he had a set of two seats together and a set of three seats together. The two seats were a little closer to the court, so he said he wanted his mom to sit with him in the two seats first, and then I would sit with his friend and friend's girlfriend in the three seats. Keep in mind, I did not know his friend or his friend's girlfriend. I just met them last night. There are three periods in the game, so he wanted his mom to sit with him for the first period of the game and I would sit with his friend and friend's girlfriend. Then we would switch and I would sit with him and his mom would sit with his friends for the second period. And for the third period we would switch again. He had bought the three seats together first for him, his mom and myself. When someone offered those two seats closer to the court, he bought those two, and then invited his friend and friend's girlfriend to come so I would have someone to sit with. After the first period, he changed the plans and him and his mom came to sit with me in the three seats and his friend and friend's girlfriend went to the two seats. I believe his friend said something to him about it because his friend also thought it was strange to make me sit with them when we could all three sit together and they could go to the other seats. I'm glad this change happened because I felt like it was just weird to have me and his mom switch places like that, and the three seats together were really good anyways. They were lower level and we could see the entire thing. Let's backtrack a little bit. During the first period, my mom who was keeping my dog texted me. Anyone that knows me knows my dog is my absolute baby. He is 12 years old and has been with me for so much. I love him so much and will drop anything to take care of him. I had even called out sick from work before when my dog was sick so that I could stay home and care for him. He has degenerative disc disease which is a problem in his spine. The discs in his spine can get inflamed and cause him immense pain when he is not able to walk So, when my mom told me that my dog was having a flare-up and was not doing well, I immediately knew that I would need to go get him from my mom and take care of him after the hockey game. While my mom is a great caregiver for my dog, I would feel much better being home with him and caring for him myself. He has ended up in the animal hospital for multiple days before because of his condition, and I didn't want that to happen again. So, I told my date after the first period that I would probably have to go home tonight and take care of my dog instead of staying. I explained to him what was going on. He immediately seemed annoyed, saying it's just a dog and that the dog will be fine and you better stay the night with And well, I immediately felt icky with that response. I could forgive the feelings towards my dog being just a dog, because I am aware that people who aren't dog parents may not understand the love that we have for our pets. They are family. But his statement saying I better stay with him really didn't sit well with me. After the game we took an Uber back to his house. He started arguing with me about me wanting to leave to take care of my dog. He raised his voice at me as well, saying if your dog is that important then just go. Yeah. You're wasting time just sitting here. He also said, you could at least give me a back rub before you leave. I was utterly stunned at the words coming out of his mouth. I gathered my things and walked out of his bedroom, closing the door behind me. A moment later he came out of his room and rushed downstairs to lock the door behind me. He was still raising his voice and fussing at me saying I was full of bull crap. I walked myself to my car which was across the parking lot in his townhome complex. I got in my car shocked at what had just went down and started driving away. A few minutes after driving he called me and started fussing again. He told me it was a slap in the face for me to leave and the entire night was all about me. And he was doing everything he could to make sure I had fun. Honestly, I disagree with that statement because of how he handled the seating arrangements. But, I was not even upset about that anymore. The reason I was driving home was because my dog was in pain and I wanted to be there with my dog. I tried to explain it again once more but he started yelling and cussing again on the phone, so I hung up. Surely I'm not in the wrong here, right?